Hi, this is Dean Hoffman. I'm the president and founder of Hoffman Asset Management Incorporated. And I want to thank you for taking the time to view this short presentation about managed futures. Whether you're an experienced futures trader or a novice, I'm sure you'll find this overview quite informative. Before we get too far along, I do want to stop at the risk disclosures and remind everybody that commodity trading does carry risks and is not suitable for all investors. You should familiarize yourself with all the applicable risk disclosures prior to making a decision to invest in managed futures. One of the key questions that we want to answer today is what exactly are managed futures? When we refer to managed futures, we're talking about an industry that's comprised of professional money managers known as CTAs, or Commodity Trading Advisors. These trading advisors manage client assets on a discretionary basis using the futures market as their investment medium. Trading advisors take positions based on expected profit potential and are compensated primarily out of the profits that they earn for their clients. Managed futures are a unique asset class, separate from traditional investments such as stocks and bonds. When we take a look at the investment universe, we've got our traditional asset classes, which once again include stocks, bonds, equities, and real estate. And then we've also got your alternative asset classes, which include things such as hedge funds, managed futures, private equity, and credit derivatives. One of the most amazing things about managed futures has been the spectacular growth that they've experienced. In 1980, there was approximately $300 million under management. Today, there's over $200 billion under management. In just the last 10 years, assets have risen by an unprecedented 700%. This represents new money invested and not necessarily market profits. There are many benefits to managed futures, including but not limited to the potential to lower overall portfolio risk. When we look at the correlation levels between managed futures and stocks and bonds, we can see that they are very low and in fact, in the case of stocks, are actually negative. This ties into modern portfolio theory as developed by Nobel Prize winning economist Professor Harry Markowitz, which tells us that more efficient investment portfolios can be created by diversifying among asset classes with low to negative correlations. Adding a managed futures fund to a portfolio of traditional stocks and bonds has the potential to reduce risk and improve performance. We can see an example of this improved performance below, where managed futures were added to a portfolio of stocks and bonds. And by doing so, not only were returns increased, but risk and volatility was decreased. So again, the opportunity to enhance overall portfolio returns exists. In addition to potentially improving returns and reducing risk, managed futures also offer an opportunity to broadly diversify. Managed futures are highly flexible financial instruments traded on many regulated commodity exchanges around the world. By broadly diversifying across global markets, managed futures can simultaneously profit from changes in stocks, bonds, currencies, money markets, as well as from diverse commodity markets having virtually no correlation to traditional asset classes. Managed futures also offer the opportunity to profit in a variety of economic environments. Managed futures trading advisors can generate profit in both increasing or decreasing markets due to their ability to go long or buy a futures position in anticipation of rising markets or go short, in other words sell, a futures position in anticipation of falling markets. Moreover, trading advisors are able to go long or short with equal ease. This ability coupled with their virtual non-correlation with most traditional asset classes have resulted in managed futures funds performing well relative to traditional asset classes during adverse conditions for stocks and bonds. For example, during periods of hyperinflation, hard commodities such as gold, silver, oil, grains, and livestock tend to do well, as do the major world currencies. Conversely, during deflationary times, Futures provide an opportunity to profit by selling into declining market with the expectation of buying or closing out the position at a lower price. Trading advisors can even use strategies employing options on futures contracts that allow for profit potential in flat or neutral markets. 
This ability to accommodate and protect against unpredictable events can be invaluable in today's volatile global markets. Drawdowns, or the reduction a fund might experience during a market retrenchment, are an inevitable part of any investment. However, because managed futures trading advisors can go long or short and typically adhere to strict stop-loss limits, managed futures funds have limited their drawdowns more effectively than many other investments. As the chart below shows, drawdowns for managed futures have been less steep than those for major global equity indices. Additionally, managed futures have generally had shorter recovery times from drawdown periods. This is due in part to their ability to use short trading to take advantage of falling markets, as well as the fact that managed futures often have lower losses to recover. Unable to use short trading to take advantage of falling markets, traditional stock indices may experience extreme drawdowns during bear markets. In the chart below, you can see the maximum drawdown for stocks was 44.7% during the period of 9-2000 through 9-2002. It takes much longer to make up for such large drawdowns. To simply recover, the stock index needed to regain almost 80% of its new low level. Looking back over the past few decades, managed futures have consistently outperformed other asset classes, such as stocks and bonds. Consider an initial investment of $10,000 invested in 1980. If placed in a U.S. stock fund mirroring the S&P 500, the investment would have been worth approximately $288,000 as of early 2008. Allocating the same amount to a basket of international equities, reflecting the Morgan Stanley Capital International Index of World Stocks, the initial investment would have grown to nearly $112,000. But the same investment in managed futures based on the Center for International Securities and Derivatives Markets weighting would now be worth more than $513,000. When it comes to choosing a money manager, you want somebody with the knowledge and experience to do the best job possible. Hoffman Asset Management is a commodity trading advisor dedicated to earning significant returns for its clients while maintaining vigorous risk management discipline. Our trend following investment methodology is designed to take advantage of sustained price trends in the commodity futures markets. For more information about managed futures or Hoffman Asset Management, please feel free to contact me personally. Once again, I thank you for your time and wish you a profitable day.